The safety of the public should be placed first. Arkansans blocked in and out of their communities by trains will now have to wait at least two more years for help from state lawmakers. It's a bill put on hold today for a study. It also puts more lives at risk today, according to two railroad labor unions. Glad to have you with us tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Bob Clawson. Ashley is on assignment. Karen for is Price McKeon joining us now in the studio with more on this bill. What's it designed to do? Where it's going to go from here? And how long we got to wait, Price? Well, Bob, the bill would regulate and restrict a railroad train running in Arkansas to a maximum length of 1.6 miles. We've learned that could be up to about 200 rail cards on a single train. I do not want to see anybody in Arkansas lose their life because these railroads insist on building these trains excessive lengths. Wayne Denson drives trains like these. He has for 15 years. There's a reason we have bulletproof windows up on the locomotives. Gerald Sales has conducted trains like these for just as long. The workers, the engineers, and the conductors on these trains do not want to block these crossings. We do not want to block these towns. The two labor union representatives helped craft a bill that would have limited the length of trains to about 1.6 miles in the natural state. It impacts my family. It impacts my community. They say longer trains are why communities like Hensley can't get in or out of their neighborhoods for hours. But I know as a railroad employee, we have no choice. We have to block these towns to make these meets. State Representative Jay Richardson, who sponsored the bill, sent it to an 18-month study Thursday, meaning no state relief will come to Arkansans for two years. The average length of the trains in Arkansas was about 6,800 foot before they changed their structure. Now we're seeing trains up to 12,000 foot. The two say the longer the bill lingers, the longer the trains will grow and longer access problems will persist. Call your local representatives. They say public safety is at risk, their lives are at risk, and someone needs to help Arkansans before it's too late. We worry about derailments, of course. We worry about somebody's mom, somebody's grandma having a house fire, having a heart attack, and ambulance services being blocked. State Representative Richardson says findings from a federal study on this topic plan to be released in the next few months, so a federal law could possibly provide relief to our Kansans impacted by trains. We've reached out to the railroads and we're waiting to hear back. Back to you.